Here we're asked to solve and graph the solutions to this linear, uh, the system of linear inequalities. Notice there's three inequalities. Uh, the process here isn't really much different. Basically what we're going to do is graph the solution sets for all three of them and then determine where the intersection is. So let's do that. Let me draw in a blank Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, let's focus on the first inequality. Let's graph the boundary. Notice the y-intercept is 1. Two points determine a line. The slope is 1. So we'll rise 1 and run 1. And since there's no equal there, this is a strict inequality. I'll draw in the line as a dotted line, indicating that the ordered pairs on that line are not going to be included as part of the solution. Now let's run a test point. If we choose, say, 0, 0, the origin, Certainly 0 is less than 1. Okay, so 0, 0 is in the region of all the solutions for this particular inequality. For this one, I would shade uh, the region here. Any ordered pair in that region will solve it. Now let's focus on the second inequality. Okay, the y-intercept here is 1 again. But this time the slope is negative 2, so to get the second point, I'm going to rise negative 2 and run 1. So down 2 over 1. Since this was a strict inequality, we're going to use a solid line. Okay, so connecting the dots. Use a straight edge. It'll look better than mine. There it is. Let's run a test point. Again, let's do 0, 0. Um, 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 1? Well, the answer is no, so this point is not in the region. We'll shade the other side. Okay, so these are all the ordered pairs that solve that particular inequality. Now, lastly, let's focus on the last inequality. So here we want to graph, for the boundary, y equals negative 2. And for y equals negative 2, we know that's a horizontal line. So here, again, I'm going to draw that in dotted. This here would be the horizontal line, y equals 2, <coughs> y equals negative 2. And we want to shade in all the y values that are greater than negative 2. All right, so if we run a test point, 0, 0 certainly is greater than negative 2. And that's this region up here. Now, we're looking for the region where all three of those solutions intersect. Okay, so let's see. Above these two lines and below that line. Okay, so it looks like the region of intersection occurs right here, not including below that line. Shade that in and hopefully a little nicer. And make it absolutely clear, I would probably go ahead and erase all that other orange. Right. So for example, down here, that's not included in the solution set. So this here is my region of intersection. And you should test a couple points choose a couple points in this region like say 4, 1 and see that it solves all three of those at the same time.